Last decade, I created circus tent puzzles. The idea was that you could buy squares and triangles, and that with those, you had to make a circus tent. So, for example, um, we could buy two triangles, that would cost six dollars, and we could snap them together like this. Always, the edges snap together. The objective is to try to make a minimum perimeter. So here we have a perimeter of four, that's as good as we can get. And we can do that for different numbers. So for example here, uh, if I was to stop here for example, here I think that these are the minimum perimeters if your circus tent costs $17. The minimum perimeter is seven. Okay, so one of the things that uh, Glenn Whitney noticed was that we tended to favor triangles as we get higher. And that kind of made me sad because I was really enjoying the complexity of having the squares and triangles together. But let me just show you a ridiculous example of how triangles are favored. So you would think that this beautiful solution is optimal for $64. But sadly, it is not. This is the optimal solution. Uh, I believe this is the optimal solution. I probably made uh, some mistakes in this presentation and that's okay. You could, you guys can go and discover them. Uh, anyway, I, uh, this surprisingly gives a better result of, uh, instead of a perimeter of 16, this only has a perimeter of 14. Okay, so how to deal with this? Well, in today's incubator session, uh, incubators are places, uh, it's this uh, Zoom meeting that we have every week and mathematicians and educators get together and for two hours we dive into a puzzle or problem that might be good for the classroom. So today we, uh, we dove into this one and what did we discover? Well, we decided to uh, explore different directions that you can go from the circus tent puzzle. And one of those directions was to add another shape. So, of course, we could pay $5 for a pentagon and $6 for a hexagon and $7 for a heptagon. So that was one direction that we were thinking of. But I think that this actually produces more interesting results. And that is $3 for the triangle, $4 for the square, and $5 for a rhombus. Now, it's not just any rhombus, it's a rhombus that has a 30 degree angle. The sharp angle there is 30 degrees. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, the cost is $40, so I'm telling you that right now. You get to choose the cost of your tent, and I'm telling you the cost of your tent is $40. How many ways are there for you to choose triangle squares and rhombuses? And the answer is there's 17. Here, here are 17. For example, you could choose, at the very top here, we have eight rhombuses at $5. Eight times five is 40, so that looks good. So eight rhombuses, or you could choose six rhombuses, one square, and, and two triangles. So these are all of the possible combinations. There's 17 of them. Your students absolutely should jump in and try to methodically create this list. That methodical exploration of a space like this is it's a really rich activity so this they should they should uh, come up with this themselves you should not give them this now which of these gives a minimum perimeter well I found that there were five that give a perimeter of 11 but that was not as good as we could get there's actually three of them that produce a perimeter of 10. Now, of course, there's probably many different ways to get these perimeters of 11. Like you can definitely move things around. Um, let's see the perimeter 10 ones. Here we go. There. So there's definitely different ways to create these, but these, are the, these were the only uh, three combinations of triangles, squares, and rhombuses that created the perimeter 10 that I could find. So you guys can go off and try to find if I made a mistake. Maybe there's another one that has a perimeter 10, uh, or maybe there's one that has a perimeter nine. 
And of course, then you can take $40 and make it $50 or $60. And this is an endlessly uh, interesting, interesting puzzle. You can also change the shapes. You can also change the amount of money that each shape costs. Enjoy. If you like Math Pickle, please find someone to help support me. That can best be done on Patreon. The link is down below.